Hi friends, in this video I'm going to write a small Java program to convert a number into a reverse array of digits. So the requirement is there will be a number given. So first step is to reverse this number and then split this reversed number into digits, place it in an array and return this array. To achieve this, I'm going to use the stack and some of the APIs from stream. So using the stack, how I'm going to achieve this, I'm going to take this number using the mod operation. I'm going to split into digits and then push it to the stack. When I read it, it will be in the reverse order. Let's see the code example now. I've written the class called convert number to reverse array and the input number is given here. There are two methods. One is using the stack and the next one is using the string. We are going to achieve this. So the first method using the stack, we are creating a stack of integer. And then we are going to iterate because we need to take this number and then split it. Using the mod operation, we are going to take the digits one by one and push it to the stack. And for the next iteration, I'm going to remove the last digit from this number and pass it again. So number is greater than zero, then using the mod operation, the next digit will be pushed to the stack. So once the stack is prepared with digits, we are going to stream it because it's a collection. So we have the stream API. Here we are going to unbox it actually because it's an integer. Now we have to convert into a primitive int value. So int value and then convert into an array and return it. In the second method, we are going to use the string. So input will be a number. So we are going to use string builder dot append pass the number and then call the API reverse. So the string will become like this. The number has been reversed already. Now split into characters and then using the map method, we are going to get the numeric value. So there is an API called get numeric value in the character class. So it will return an integer. After getting the integer, we are going to convert into an array and return the integer array. So when I debug this program, both the methods are returning an array which contains reversed digits. Please try out. Hope this video is useful. Thank you.